All right, Chris, tis the season for giving. And so we want to kind of touch on some gifts that teams could either have towards the end of the season, through the playoffs, or maybe even the offseason that can help the trajectory of their uh, organization. So for me, starting off at number three, I think the Titans just need the Texans to ice up. I didn't think there was any way the Titans could make it into the playoffs, but then the Steelers go to New York and lose to the Jets. And so all Tennessee has to do right now is win to get in. And with Deshaun Watson and all these other guys banged up for the Texans, I feel like this may be a a great opportunity for Tennessee to kind of get in the, in the to the race and then we can see if your man Tannehill can really pull it through in the clutch when it counts and that's the playoffs and at number two the Seattle Seahawks need a running back like we're hearing all this talk about it being beast mode maybe but I don't know who it's going to be but it needs to be somebody I mean you can't get hit any worse with Penny going down a couple weeks ago and then you have Chris Carson and CJ Procise going down in the same game and you lose to the Arizona Cardinals at home when you're trying to maintain the NFC West lead I mean I can't think of a more brutal streak that a team has you know gone through here recently and so hopefully the Seattle Seahawks can get back on track but that's definitely a need of that and at number one, <laughs> bro, the Cowboys, <laughs> they just need thoughts and prayers because you go up against Philadelphia, they're down Alshon, Jeffrey, Jordan Howard's been out for half the season, Nelson Aguilar's out. They're playing with tight ends, but it's not like they have a running quarterback like Lamar where you have like that dual threat in the run and pass game. Like they're playing limping into the game and they still beat the brace off you. You can't score a touchdown against the Philadelphia secondary that's been getting honey roasted all season long. Come on, man. Uh, oh, I hear you. First off, okay, <laughs> I like your Seahawks running back thing. They can't make a serious playoff run without a legit running back. Right. You know, they're just, they're just not creative enough in the past game. So, all right, for being a little different, I'm going to give you three different ones, okay? okay? And really, Carson Wentz and, like, he could wish for a wide receiver to help him out, to your point, would be one of them, but it's not my top three, okay? Here my top three out. Okay. All right, number three would be, Chandler Jones, he should wish for four sacks because he will go into the all-time lures of the NFL greatest season of sacks Ooh. with 23 if he can get more this week, which is insane. Just quietly under the radar out there in Arizona. Nobody true. talking about him, yeah. right? That's just crazy to me. Okay, man, New York Giants, what would they love to do more than to ruin the Philadelphia Eagles playoff hopes <laughs> with an upset this week? And hear me out. I'm not even done with this one. This is, this is a little wish factor for the Giants fans. Daniel Jones just sprains his ankle, and Eli's got to come in, <laughs> come and he on, leads them to victory <laughs> and knocks the Eagles out of the playoffs, okay? Okay? Now, that's, that's something my number. I think all of us could wish to see. <laughs> that's number two. All right, that's my number two. And then my number one's going into the offseason. All right, I just can't take it anymore. My number one is the Los Angeles Chargers need to ask for old St. Nick to deliver Cam Newton to yes. their team. They need Cam Newton because mm -hmm. I'm sick of watching the Chargers playing away games at their home stadium. Every game. I mean, every game. It was 95% Raiders fans there. I just feel bad for them. You're not going to do that. If Cam Newton comes to town, they start winning games, people will jump on the bandwagon. Right. That, to me, should be on the top of the Chargers Christmas wish list. Man, absolutely. There's no way that the NFL has a team in that L.A. market talking about the Chargers and not have any star power. Now, we understand they have really good players, whether it's Melvin Gordon, right. who may not be there next year, Keenan Allen, they have a really young, good safety, Duran James, but they need someone that everybody in the nation, damn near right. everybody in the world knows and that's a quarterback like a Cam Newton, someone like that. If they could bring in some star power like that and that team could perform up to their expectations instead of always losing down the stretch, then, man, the Chargers could be one of the premier teams in the NFL, that's for sure. Definitely. Need one or two guys. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.